Hey, we got a special get a special guest tonight, Roselle. This is Mario Sacedo. Hey. hey, what's going on, Mario? How you doing, dude? Hey, what's up, Roselle? I doing okay, thank you. How you doing? I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah, there's my DJ right here. Okay, I'm just starting our live. I tagged you. I tagged you in it, Mar in it, Mario. So hopefully people will be, will be tu will be tuning in. So okay, welcome to Global History Night, everybody. It is our night to look at global history, politics, and to hear from people in the in the community about what they're doing, about what their lives and who they are. So I've invited Mario Sacedo, Sacedo who is the founder and uh, director of Solano AIDS Coalition. Mario does a lot for the community and he is also extremely creative. I mean, I, I think of you as an artist as much as, a, as, much as, any, as anything, Mario. So do you want to start? So you started Solano AIDS Coalition about 15 years ago, right? We start, uh, we start, uh, hey everybody. Hi, Anna, thank you so much. You know what, talking all that, you made me flash. I'm like, ah, what is she saying so much? I know. Uh, about me, but no. Uh, I, um, I moved to uh, Vallejo in 2004. And I, 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 I was, uh, I live in Hollywood, you know, I was uh, in uh, Sherman Oaks, California, uh, and um, I moved to Vallejo in 2004, so that's when uh, 2005 really is when I, we started Solano Ace Coalition. 2004 is when we, I started talking about, because I saw the need uh, in um, the community that I choose to live, you know, I, I was just coming for, the, the, the funny thing that I was just coming for a visit. You know, I was going to just stay for a little bit because I passed through too much in, in, in Hollywood, too much. Hollywood is crazy, you know. Yes. For all of you that be working in Hollywood and I mean, special effects artists, I mean, I do uh, costumes and makeup uh, for uh, 23 years and I work for different uh, makeup uh, effects companies in Los Angeles. So I moved here and... Um, uh, I was like, what, I, what are I going to do? I moved to, uh, to Fairfield. So um, I saw that I was a, a lot of um, methamphetamine use in, 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 my, in my community, in, uh, in Fairfield, Vallejo, where the place that I was moving. And it was a lot of things going on, crazy things. I mean, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about, uh, what, 2004, 2005, when downtown Vallejo, downtown Vallejo was bored. All the windows was bored. It was nothing in there. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of drugs in the corner of Marina and Georgia. I remember, like yesterday, it was like a lot move, a lot, of, a lot of prostitution and a lot of drugs and all that. So, um, but I saw that, that, that it was a lot needed in my com in this community. So, I developed a passion. You know, I was like, I, I was getting out from my from. Um, I mean, my life was not doing that well in those years in 2004, three, 2002, 2003. 2003, I was doing crazy things. I mean, never harm anybody, but I was living my own life and getting down into in a tar hole. And when I moved to Alejo, I mean, I was I tried to get out from um, Los Angeles and get out from that dark hole. And I come here and I see that I was I was going to be able to just outreach some people that was passing through probably the same thing that I passed through in those times, you know, I was doing drugs, I was like crazy, so I saw a lot of that in here. So, um, and I also lost every one of my friends in Hollywood. I, I mean, I have so many friends. Yeah. Uh, so I lost everyone to the HIV from the HIV pandemic. I moved into I moved into the United States in 1987 uh, from Mexico. You know, I I went I I I um, I. I I'm well educated, you know. I went to Mexico, went to uh, the school, you know. I I got to, I went to school and and I um I I I almost finished my degree uh, to become a veterinarian doctor in my country, but uh, it was not my gig. 
Anyway, going back to the to the downtown Vallejo, so I mean that this is where I found my passion. You know, I was like, you know what? What else I can do that save lives, help somebody? You know, be involved in in a disease that killed dozens and dozens of my friends, and yeah. and um, I uh, we opened the Salerno Escalation in the corner of um, Marina in Georgia. It's a little hole in the wall, right in the corner next to the townhouse. Um, and we start right there, and then uh, we, from there we went to different buildings, different faces, and I met you, I remember when I met you, like, about yeah. five, six years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I remember when I met you, so I, we, I mean, we was in a big building, so I mean, doing all these things, so overstressing yourself, uh, working with a community that with, uh, with a lot of disparities and a lot, and a lot of uh, things going on uh, with with the government and with, with, with the people and with the police and missing and uh, I'm a brown man too. So I missing everything that is going on that is not fair in my community. I was like, well, let me try to bring a little bit of, of, of something that a little bit of hell. Let me, can I, you know, it, it was like, you know what? I, I am so, I'm so um, proud of my work in this community. I'm so uh, happy of the people that I outreach um so Lana is collision oh been, yeah because you know I'm, and I, we've been yeah. doing so much stuff so yeah much stuff. so hi yeah calvin it's calvin listening hi calvin and zeke hi zeke so for people that don't know i mean solano aids aids coalition also distributes food to people and clothing and the big thing every year is the toy drive Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, kids, I remember, remember Anna when uh, the first uh, gym yeah. when you all did you buy all these uh, oh, yeah. uh, little blankets and books and educational stuff. So yeah, and that's one of my. I mean, I have to say that uh, that me personally, me personally, and I know that a lot, a lot of the people that um, a lot of the people that um following the Solana Escalation all these years, I know that they agree with me. You know what I mean? It's like a toy drive, it become one of the, 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 the most important things. We have World Ace Day, then we have um, we have the toy drive. That's my two things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then we have Dia de los yeah. Muertos. Yeah. Dia de los Muertos, so I mean, it's so much, it's so much to do, uh, I mean, so much that, you, that we all do together. You, you do so much for the community too. You help me a lot. Thank you so much. You know, I have to thank you because I mean, all yeah. day, all day, we, uh, yeah. we, we everybody, we, we all work together oh, for, yeah. for the cause. Yeah. We can make it. Yeah. We can make it. Yeah. Yeah, Rizal, you got to like meet up with. It. So I'm always, what made you decide to come to the United States? Well, um, I was, um, okay, so when I was a teenager, a friend of mine, I have friends in, 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 in the United States. So uh, I was, um, I don't like the way, the, the, the way of living in, in my country. I mean, it's very healthy, but it was a lot of things going on in there. My father passed away. I, um, I always wanna, um, since I was a kid, listen to this, and this is the truth because my mom laughed about it all the time. And my family, all my family, we talk about it. So when I was a kid, I remember like nine, nine years, probably 11 years, a week watching um, uh, Frankenstein, a movie, yeah. special effects movie with my with my mom and my brothers. Uh -huh. And I told my mom, I want to work doing movies. And you know, in Spanish, I was telling her, I want to work making movies. You know what I mean? How life is that I end in, working in the in the in the in the uh, Hollywood industry you know what I mean yeah. well, I work with so many different um, um, studios over there so I did what I said and right now right here I remember when I told Calvin we were going to open the Solano installation it's going to be a little trip store it's going to be very popular and we're going to help a lot of people and I did it and I we still do the same oh okay. yeah yeah. Right now we don't have a building. I don't want a building. I don't want a building. <laughs> that was a lot of I work. Don't, I don't want a building. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a lot of work. But um, we still do it. We have uh, a lot. We do HIV education. Right now we also start doing um, uh, COVID-19 um, education and prevention, you know, um, 
because the vaccine, I mean, we have talked about the vaccine. People don't want to get the vaccine. So, I mean, it's like, there's so many things that we can, that, uh, so many theories in, 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 um, in uh, Facebook and Google and the media, all these media theories. But you know what? I want the vaccine because first of all, if they go, going to control me, they already control me. Exactly. They want to kill me, yeah. they already, I mean, what's the yeah. point of that? Get the vaccine, that, that, that's one of the main things. Really? So we find that we have, um, we have counseling, a lot of counseling we do also. Uh, we have a program, but right now we don't have it, but it's going bad, but we have a program uh, with the Toro University. Mm -hmm. We're talking about HIV AIDS and HIV prevention. So we still doing the yeah. same thing. So it's so hard um, to talk to people, to communicate with people. You're looking, you know, you're looking at issues that are very personal to people. People can be shy, defensive, mistrusting. There's cultural barriers. What would you say are some good ways to connect, to educate people? You know what? I have to tell you one of the main things to me. One of the main things, no matter who it is or who you are talking to you or who, who you, you talking to or who you are approaching, you have to have respect. You know, you have to have a lot of respect for the for the for 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 the, the person, you know. Like I say, whoever it is, you know, mm -hmm. you can the other things that you cannot be judging, you know, you cannot go and see somebody and go and try to be judging people. I mean, you know, I mean. We live in a community that, that we have so much disparity, so much uh, discrimination, so much uh, color uh, discrimination, so much sexual discrimination, so much uh, um, overweight discrimination, so much all kinds of discrimination. You know what I mean? And, and I mean, to me, this is personal to me. The thing that has been working is that when I, when I engage with, when, when I engage with, with a person, that uh, you have a problem or, or, um, or, or they, sometimes, sometimes they don't even have a problem. You know, you engage, just the day, that engagement and that the respect that you uh, give to that person and that space that you give to that person, allow that person to start mm. talking to you. You know what yeah. I mean? That person see like you easy going. I mean, you are not, that person is looking around. I mean, you have to be, very careful because you're right, and I so much going on. It's, I mean, you say the wrong thing, and I mean, I remember now that you say the wrong, wrong things. I remember. Let me tell you one thing. It was um, what nineteen, no two thousand, no two thousand and two thousand and nine. I think it was two thousand and nine. I, I still talking about HIV. I still talking about condoms. The community. Oh my God, the community in in, in Vallejo in Solano County. When you was talking about sex uh, or, or or condoms or HIV AIDS, everybody was running from you. They don't want to talk to you. It was weird because it was like really. I was like, what is going on? I mean, why people are not want to talk about it? You know what I mean? Very difficult, but funny thing. Uh, it was. Um, have an experience in Starbucks. It was this um, probably 19, 1984, um, no, probably 84 years, uh, senior citizen, grandmother, great grandmother. And I was, I have uh, condoms, you know, and, and I have information about yeah. HIV. Yeah. So I started talking to her, and uh, it was like, the, the, the religion, it was a barrier, but I saw the way that she was looking and the way she wanna know, but because uh, part of the, the religion, you know, you cannot talk about sex, you cannot talk about this, you cannot see all these different things. So slowly she, she built a trust on me. She saw me again and she built a trust on me. And one day we start talking about She uh, started taking condoms from my basket and she told me, I will going to take take it to my home because you're right, Mario. I can just leave it right there in the in the in a basket in the toilet. Uh, we have to protect our kids, you know. And thank you. So it's just such a big thing because that's your will. You have to take 
time. You have to care enough to be willing to take time with people. Cause like, you know, I try like, nobody's just going to go, you know, if you're going to come up and suggest something, nobody's going to, Oh, sure. Mario, you know, people aren't no. going to just do it at no. first. You have no. to build that bridge. Yeah. That you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The trust that bridge. You know what I mean? And I, I have, I mean, I am so happy, you know, what it's a, uh, I live in a, a very diverse community. Yeah. Uh, I um, I love my work. You know what I mean. I I do, I do uh, I do have my my ups and downs. You know what like, I mean. You know, I try. Like nobody's just gonna go. You know, if you're gonna come up and suggest something, nobody's gonna. Wait a minute. Whoa. Huh? That was. Okay, we're okay. We're I don't okay. know what just happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah good. Go no. ahead. No, I, I know they, they repeat the same thing about that yeah. nobody's going to be so, you know? Yeah. Somebody but, um, but yeah, but uh, you know what? Um, it's very difficult and especially uh, talking to, talking about, um, <clears throat> when you're talking about sex, when you're talking about AIDS, when you're talking about condoms, it's still right now, right now. Um, 2021 still right now people that they are yeah. not want to know nothing about condom they know they 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 look at you funny they are i mean they call you names because that and you know what that because i mean to me to me 1987 well they say 1987 87 but we have to be realistic uh hiv AIDS has been here for a while so in 1987, the outbreak of HIV AIDS. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody, um, everybody's talking about it. These billboards everywhere. You know, people dying left and right. We lost millions of people for yeah. HIV AIDS. Yeah, we had COVID before there was COVID. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, but but you know what the thing is like? Um, you lost so many people, but but you know what? People still no one to learn because 30, 30 some years later. I still, you still seeing the percentage of HIV infections are high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we do, okay, so we have Shante watching our our sister right there. Hey, Shante. What I'm, up, Shante? Shante's a cosplayer. And so, Shante, I have told Shante. you before about, about Mario, and he does... Katrina, Katrina's, and you got to come be a Katrina, man. It is, she'd be, she'd be amazing. Oh my God. Shantae is like costumes and everything. So Ooh, yeah. Le, le, yeah. yeah. You, you can check our, you can check our, um, our Facebook at Solano East Coalition and Facebook, uh, Chantel, and you can yeah. see all the pictures. Uh, I designed the dresses, but this year, you know, for the Alan Muerto Santa, this year, I only want to design a couple of dresses. They love Some as well. Because it's yeah. going to be a big, I want a big oh, competition. See, but I want to do it this year. I, okay, I want to do well, it. Okay, Just well, finally. you have to. Yeah, okay. Finally, because I like I'm an introvert, so I was oh, I mean I I love the clothes and stuff, so I don't but I didn't know if I could like last all day going around like talking to people. <laughs> 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 you 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 well. You probably yeah. will be there uh, the first time. You probably will be really um, shy, but you will like yeah. what, what's going on. And then the second time is the, it's always the second time is the best when when you dress up and you go and and be a Katrina. And you know what? That's the, one of the other things um, that it was very difficult uh, to educate the, the Hispanic community. So that's why Day of the Dead emerged in the in in Solano County because. I was enabled to to talk to the, the Hispanic community about the HIV virus and uh, the the rate was high and so I I decided to make we decided that we was going to start the the the, the Dia de los Muertos festival. So when they come and they see the Dia de los Muertos, they always ask about, 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 about I start, it, it was an easy uh, bridge to start talking about the condoms, about about HIV, about about other health issues that was. Uh, facing about yeah, and it just some of these people, some of these people that they need interpreters, some of these people that they need uh, somebody that help them with um, to apply for 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 uh, 
uh, services, some yeah. other people that they uh, have um, um, have to go to court or face court or different things, family law, stuff like that. And we always help. The Solano Risk Coalition is always, uh, besides the point that we have so many different programs, we also uh, do referrals. We refer our community to the, to the right hands uh, for any problem, you know what I mean? So uh, we, 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 we become from being uh, helping only families affected and infected with HIV virus, we start helping the whole community. I mean, uh, I have kids right now that when I started the toy drive, they was three years old right now. They are, what, 21, 23? Oh, yeah. I have, I have kids that they are, I mean, that they are like, 32 years old, and I, I'm, I, I was providing toys to them. So, yeah, it's very, it's a really beautiful feeling because we do, we do. And, and you were there, you was in one of the toy lights. Yeah. You see, how, how, how hundreds and hundreds of kids we have, hundreds. Yeah. And so, the, you know, because now, especially, you know, I mean, the older we get, it's like the parents are practically kids to us. Yeah. Too, but it's just what I love so much about it is that it gives the message to families that the community cares about them. And it's like it's saying to parents, like, we know you're really trying to provide for your kids and we want to help. You know, we're here. We're here for you. We value you. So. Exactly, and you know what? You know what? The, the 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 other thing is like, and you're right. As you say, we need to do that. We need to do that. Uh, I was in the in the uh, immersive uh, learning center with yeah. Paul uh, last week, uh, and I was um, talking to him about because uh, he have a, a, a shoe drive for kids. Yeah. So so we went there, and I saw. I mean, and um, this weekend when I go back in there, he was telling me that. Uh, he was, he was, you can see that he was very depressed. He was like really anxiety and he was like upset because uh, he talked to everybody. He advertised everything everywhere. And uh, and I'm uh, so good that this is life because I can, I want to ask everybody that hear us right now that please, please, please donate a pair of new shoes yes. uh, to the shoe drive. You know, the shoe drive yes. that is going on. Don't, uh, to fit, to don't fit to the drive, people. Yeah, please do. Yeah, because um, we need 500 uh, shoes, 500 uh, yes. shoes for kids, and these kids really don't have shoes. Yeah. And believe it or not, the families cannot afford to buy the shoes because they're, especially right now with the pandemic, so yeah. he is doing a, a shoe drive, so I'm asking everybody, please, please donate a shoe to uh, some kids, you know, because our kids is our future. We have to take care of our future. And that's why I keep doing what I'm doing, because you know what? I always say that Anna, our future is our kids. Yeah. That's our future. Yeah. So if we don't take our future, if we don't pay attention, then it's going to go crazy. It's going crazy already because we was not paying attention. That's why all the th yeah. th this is going on outside yeah. with, with, with our brown community, with me and I'm, I'm, I'm Mexican, you know, so I'm brown. So... All these problems that they they going on right now is because we was not paying attention on what what our kids was doing. You know what I mean? Or or what? The, and then all these uh, um, all these discrimination that we uh, that we have towards us and we separating and they try to have us separated and so many stuff. Yeah. But um, again, you know what? I'm happy that I do my work in the in the in the community. And right now we right now we delivering food. You also helping. Yes. us with the food and we um we uh, we we just hoping that the the pandemic is stop you know that we that everybody uh take the vaccine that everybody i mean let's I know, protect our I'm robot. Missing out and seeing people so much i just want to add that that's another thing that's so great about day of the dead that if it weren't you know is that you see these children that have like a whole big cultural of Event where people look like them, you know, and it's such where they can connect. And, you know, now, I mean, there's a lot of people that don't necessarily have live in the same town as their grandparents. So, you know, it really passes on, passes on heritage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. 
Yeah. Um, no, and I'm just hoping that we'll be able to have some summer, you know, I'm in Juneteenth, 4th of July. <laughs> well, I just, I just, I just hear that uh, they, I hear that they cancel the 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that they just cancel it. Oh. So, um, what were some of the movies that you worked on? I work in, uh, well, uh, as, um, we work in different groups. So it's a, a big team uh, of people that work and we work in different areas, you know, some doing makeup, some doing the costumes, but I help to work in like the Chinese. I help uh, oh, in a okay. uh, little bit food, uh, mail, uh, meet the deedles. I, I work in, uh, I help with um, doing uh, a lot of uh, work for like the sale. Uh, I work, uh, I help uh, doing some, um, some stuff for uh, Nightmare on the Street, Power Rangers. Ooh. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, Rizal's getting real into this now. <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, I, I was very young and I made a mistake. I made a mistake and uh, I, um, I don't regret it. I don't regret, I mean, I should be working in high, but I don't regret it because, you know what? God is good. God put you in where you're supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you one thing. I should be dead by now. Me too. Okay, I should be dead by now, but you know what? Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a, something that I have to finish because I mean, a couple of times I was just barely making it. In. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here, so. But you know what? Anna, the other thing is like you know I I, I see a lot of things going on. Uh, I don't know about you, but and I don't know about I tell I tell, but um. You know what? It's so much things going on outside right now that I mean, with all this thing with the mask and all this thing that we have to wear the mask and everything and all this separation of families and all that is, is so much stress and so much um, uh, uh, panic oh. and so much, so much. Mario, uh, somebody on YouTube is asking where to send donations. Uh, they uh, they can uh, uh, for the shoes they uh, they yeah. can uh, go to the. To the, uh, to, uh, the we have in JJ, uh, Ryan Vallejo and JJ, uh, the fish, the fish, JJ, I think the, everybody knows JJ. That's and, off um, of uh, Marine World Parkway? Yes. Yeah, I know exactly where that's at. Okay, yeah, that can one. you keep that in for Scott, Roselle? He's asking. And then also in uh, the, the Mercy Learning Center, two, 250 Georgia Street. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, we got we got a regular per, one of our regulars on on here on here, Scott. But I just was listening today to a um a, I, I went to a Zoom meeting with Mel White, and he's a gay man that came from an evangelical background and went through like a lot of like people trying to force him, you know, conversion treatments and stuff like and stuff like that and so he like he's debated like Jerry Falwell and all and all these people but he so he's in his 80s and it was sad he's he's ill and he said he thought it might he might not be able to be doing more speeches and he was talking and I hope he gets through this because he was talking about how he just feels like there's no point in talking to people and nobody cares and nothing's going on. So it was my turn. I said like, Hey, you know, I mean, I really, I, I was like, I just met you, but I appreciate you. And yeah, things have changed. I, was, I said like, you know, I mean, I go to a Baptist church and 40 years ago, I wouldn't have been comfortable doing that. So that's because of you. Cause I just wanted him. I mean, you know, I think he was like in the midst of something because and then I, you know, he said, like, there's no leaders. I was like, yeah, there's leaders. I mean, we don't, we need to look at each other because the people that will be remembered as leaders aren't always who we think that, who we think they are. So I'm like, no, I have like, you know, and also I'm like, okay, the youth today are building on what we've done and what our elders have done. They aren't better. Okay, get over it. <laughs> um, you know, oh, yeah, I mean, it's all it's all a progression. So the guy was like, okay, he's like, watch out for those Baptists. <laughs> I was like, okay. But, you know, I mean, I appreciate what, I was like, yeah, you've made a difference. You've definitely made a difference. So 
hopefully he be hopefully he feels he feels that way because you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, if it weren't somebody like him, I mean, he's been like out, you know, he's been like demonstrated against, I mean, you know, there's people that have been out there fighting, you know, I mean, oh, yeah, yes. all along. So, yes, you know what, the funny thing is, I mean, is um, right now, it, I mean, I thank God for all the changes and all the, the laws and all the, the big heroes like Harvey and, yeah. and, and all our heroes from the I mean, like like Malcolm X, like like you know Dr. King and all the heroes that they they be fight they fight for our rights, you know and all what I mean because it's still right now it's a lot of segregation and a lot of, uh, discrimination oh, yeah. and in uh, and a lot uh, um, uh, uh, sexual discrimination in, in the church and in the in the government and everywhere you know so it's like it's 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 just it's just so hard it's just so hard uh, just to try to be your own self and then. Um, a lot of people get getting killed. You know what? Like, like I tell you one thing. One of the things that I, I mean, it was so depressing to me. It's like every day, I have all these pictures about somebody's uh, killing a transgender person or or or, 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 or a gay person or African American or I mean, it's all these uh, men. Where who we are? I mean, yeah. Where is our humanity? Where is our where is our heart? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, there's a lot of really scary, there's a lot, I mean, scary things, scary things happening, and then, you know, I mean, when things started to open back up again, then we're back to having mass, mass shootings, I mean, it's a, yeah, you know, I've learned, man, it's like, now when I'm out in public, I hear a noise, I duck, I mean. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna have to see that, I'd love to see that. (laughs) <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I will jump under the table. Yeah. I, 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 I don't care. But you know what? No, it is. It is, it is hard to, uh, to, to see the news and to see every time, every time that you turn on the news, every time. I mean, I was, I mean, I'm so sick, uh, especially in Vallejo, you know what I mean? I, I am, uh, I don't care anymore about to say it, you know, it's like, you know what? I'm sick of all this police brutality, you know? Yeah. I'm sick of all these uh, color people uh, 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 getting uh, to jail and getting a stuff for, uh, for something that somebody was not, or I hate all this, all this, this I know hate, I condone, because yeah. I never hate. But yeah. I mean, all this, uh, we're losing our kids. So, I mean, I think, that, I think also, you know what? Uh, people like parents, parents have to pay attention, you know, yeah. parents, I mean, the parents have to pay well, really well attention in the kids because, um, hi, darling, oh my God, she's with you, oh, no. it's Kino Mario, okay, hi, darling, she's like, ah, I want to see him, I'm upset with okay. him, <laughs> yeah, 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 but no, I was talking about that, you know what, I'm, I'm sick of this, I mean, I live in Vallejo, 19 years. I've gone for 20 years. And I see no changes in a lot of things. You don't think so? No, yeah. no in a lot of things. No in a lot of things. No we no when it's coming to 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 I mean the the the, the crimes, the, the 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 brutality, the the, the the discrimination. I mean I still see in it. I still see in it. No like the the way it was, but I, I still see in it. I see that it we it changed a lot. I mean we don't have the same the same uh, because 18 years ago it was a lot. They, it was a lot uh, drug selling in 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 Georgia State and in, in Sonoma Boulevard, and it was more active, you know, more like. And now it's less, but I don't know. I love. Let, let me tell you one thing. I love Alejo. Me too. I love Alejo. Me too. I love Alejo. You know what? My friends in Hollywood. I mean, they've been telling me for 20 years. I can. I. 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 I can. I. I can. I can. And I should, but I don't. That's not, it's my, it's my choice, and my choice is to stay in Vallejo. But I can be working in Hollywood right now, making making uh, $150 an hour, uh, um, making $150 an hour and going on set and, and go to all these premieres and and go to all these premieres and, and have all these things going on, you know what I mean? I can, I can do it, but you know what? Balancing, you know what I mean? I... I balanced my life, you know, my life, I don't, I don't care about money. 
I don't care about uh, 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 going to have the, the best, the, 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 the $500,000 Lamborghini. I don't care about, I care, see the, 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 the being, being in drugs, being, be, being, being having the life that I have since I moved to this uh, country, being experiencing everything I experiencing, you know what, I don't care. I don't care. Then I lose my I lost my brother recently to yeah. COVID nineteen. Yeah. So yeah. I, I learned so many things about the value of life, the value of telling you I love you right now, the value the value of telling your mom, your dad, uh, uh, your friend, your kid, your nephew, your auntie, hey, I love you. Well, you went a whole bunch of years without seeing your mom. How many years did you? How many years did you not see your mom for? Oh, girl, the first time was uh, let me see. It was well, the first year, the first time it was not that much because it was oh, only okay. three years the first time. But the oh, second okay. year, the second year was twenty-seven years. Right, because I remember when I met you, you hadn't seen your mom in a long oh, time. No, no. So, yeah. So I see her, but you know what? I, I see her right now. Yeah. But um, but no, 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 no. Like I was telling you, that's the truth. What I'm telling you is the truth. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not real. It's not real things. It looks like it's not real. It's, you, you, you have to work so much for, for, for a lot of different things and, and, and people. You have to, you have to, you already have it. You have to build a lot of tolerance about a lot of tolerance. You have to have a lot of tolerance, a lot of tolerance of things that they're going on and then speak, speak up, you know, speak your mind because you know what? If you don't speak your mind, it's like you are. It's yeah. Like, yeah, man. And that, piss, that pisses people off, you know? <laughs> well, it sure does. Well, yeah. Yeah. We live in a, we live in a country. That uh, you have the, the right, you have the freedom of oh, speech. Yeah, I mean, so you, you know, yeah. So that's something yeah. that nobody can even, take away. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, you know, I mean, I talked about it on the show before. I mean, I speak out because I can, because I just have the blessing to have that freedom and a lot of people. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, so we're about to take a to take a break and move on. So, um, just to like wrap up a little bit to everybody that was listening, um, do you want to like plug any plug any more of your stuff, Mario? Mario Sacedo, Solano AIDS Coalition. Well, the only the 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 the, the, the last thing that I want to say is this: you know what? We are one human race. We are one human race, one. And we should become what we are. We should not separate ourselves the way that we are separated right now. Because you know what? It no matter, nothing matter, no color, no race, no gender, no nothing. But we are only one human race, one. And we have to love each other and we have to accept each other the way we are. You know, and then we, we have to keep fighting for our rights, you know? We have to keep uh, fighting for what we believe. You know, you have to fight for what you believe, what is inside you, what it moves you, whatever it is that is yours is yours. You know what? And never be afraid of no success because guess what? Just trying to do something, you already succeed because you already do the first step. So I wanna, and I wanna thank Axel and you also, Anna. Uh, how do you spell uh, Hans, Hans, his name, Ansel? Rosel? Rosel, Rosel, Rosel. Okay. I call him Hans, Hans, Hans there. Yeah. Yeah. You know who I met him through? Jessica Brown. Remember Jessica Brown? Yeah. Yeah. I know him too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Very cool man. Very cool dude right there. Very nice yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I love Vallejo. I never would have, I never got to do stuff like this anywhere else, you know, at the radio show and the people I know. So. Uh, you are, you are, you are, you, you, you can do it because we, our family. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Vallejo is a big family because sure everybody is. knows each other. It sure the is. People that work in the community know each other. People that they doing the work in the community, they know each other. So we are a big family. Some yeah. of us are less pleasant than others, but guess what? 
We yeah. are one human race. Thank you, my yeah. friend. I love you. Uh, I love you, Mario. I'll see you tomorrow. You.